We are getting up and moving again. <laughs> wow, this thing is great. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing an extremely rare truck today. It is a GMC Sierra 1500 with the Duramax diesel and the Max tow package. If you're in the know, then you know this truck is like impossible to find. And well, I managed to find one and it is available for sale. It's available for sale here at the Provo Cadillac in Utah. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for Craig. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below. And with that being said, also carbine guide in the description down below as well if you want to save time money the next time you purchase a car. Let's get into this tr review truck thing. That was horrible. Let's just go with it. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged three liter inline six diesel known as the baby Duramax, well, at least that's what I call it, that produces 277 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy is 22 around town and then 26 on the highway. Also, it goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, they are gonna be updating this powertrain for the 23 model year, and it'll produce 305 horsepower and then 495 pound-feet of torque, but this is a 22, so it gets this version. But anyways, there's the engine. Now let's go to the front end of this Sierra Elevation. And yes, this one's built off of the Elevation package. And I think this looks so cool with this sand color. So you guys can see we have the signature Sierra hood, which is flat for the most part, but it has this cool little like vent looking piece. And then we have the more flush LED lights here with the LED daytime running lights. And then notice the grill is darker in coloration. You got the GMC logo, which is also darker than the camera there, just at the bottom. Tow hooks here on the front end. And then you guys can see here with the fog lights off to the side and there's another one on the other side just got to trust me but yeah with all the blacked out elements and with this color this is such a cool looking truck Coming around the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 275, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And you guys can see with the wheels, they're all blacked out as part of this elevation package, which is pretty dang sweet. I think it looks cool, especially contrast with the sand color. And then just like other CR 1500s, we got independent front suspension. And then you guys can see the itty bitty fender flare. And notice how it's kind of like squared off. We have our Duramax turbo diesel badge here, elevation down below. And then notice the blacked out mirror cap body painted door handles, and then we have the fixed side steps. And then if you take a few steps back, here's your full side view on the truck. So here's our key fob for this truck. You guys can see GMC logo there on the back. We have our unlock or lock function remote start and then the drop down for the tailgate. So we have a payload capacity of 1,618 pounds and we have a towing capacity of 12,900 pounds. That is correct. This literally tows like 3,000 pounds more than a regular Duramax diesel Sierra. It's crazy. Now you guys can see here with the lights in the bed, and then we do have an outlet down below as well. And notice GMC logo, and then obviously we already have liner and all that from the factory. This one does have the multi-pro tailgate, so just press that button right there, and it'll actually pop this whole system down. It does have a weight limit of 375 pounds, if you guys are wondering. Here's kind of a full view of that whole setup. Now what I found is the easiest way to lift this up is just put that into place like that, and then just do like a big bicep curl with the whole tailgate all in one motion, and then boom. Lift it back up. Now finishing things up with the rest of the rear, we have our four x four badge right there. And then you guys can see with the Sierra tail lights and then notice the elevation logo down below. And then all of your other regular badges. And we've got parking sensors here at the bottom. And I think the exhaust tip is actually on the other side. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. Yeah, I got it mixed up. It's actually on the uh, other, other side. But anyways, you got bumper steps here at the bottom and then regular receiver hitch. And there's the rear. So let's go over the door panel here in the rear. We've got this wood trim here at the top. Then you guys can see the double stack design with the leather armrest and you know, all the stitching throughout is pretty cool. Now notice here, we've got the leather seats with this one and you got the behind the seat storage and padding on this actually, really solid. Underneath, we got more storage as well, which is pretty cool. Popping in the side step helps out quite a bit. Whoa, huge. Yeah, plenty of room in here. You can see you got a storage pocket, we got some cup holders, and they got some vents with some USBs, and we have our cup holder armrest set up. Let's head to the front. 
So here is the front door panel. You guys can see again with the wood trim that goes across and us, the silver trim there. And then again, double stack design here with the armrest situation. Just a quick look at the mirrors. And then we've got our mirror adjustments here, all of our window controls. Notice the front one's automatic. Bose sound system here. And if you don't believe me, 1618 for the payload. And then we have the towing sticker right here. Conventional tow rating, 12,900 pounds right there. Absolute craziness. Anyways, front seat here, as you can see with the leather trim and then down below. And then all of our adjustments here on the side, pedal layout down below. And we have our parking brake right here. This is our drive mode select with our tow haul mode built in. And then notice this um, does not have a two speed transfer case. So it just has two wheel high, four wheel auto, and then four wheel high. And then you guys can see there with the light controls and let's pop in. So here's our steering wheel for this GMC Sierra. You got nice leather trim all around and then you can see the darker stitching on the center portion. We do have radio controls there on the back. And then you guys can see the controls for the center stack, voice command controls, paddle shifters here for that 10 speed automatic. And then we have our cruise control and then our heated steering wheel button as well. And then of course we got our turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. There's the steering wheel. So full digital gauge cluster here, as you can see, and scrolling through here, you can see there's a bunch of different menus, including like for the navigation, your phone, you know, pretty normal stuff, and then general vehicle information, right? So there you go on that. Now, again, we do have a tow haul mode, so just press that. Notice it automatically turns on the exhaust brake when you pop into the tow haul mode, which is pretty cool. And then we do have some other drive modes. So we have a sport, we have an off-road, and then we have a terrain mode as well. Uh, and so just depending on the conditions that you're going to be within, you've got drive modes for pretty much everything. And there's that. So sorry about the glare with this shot. It's just getting to that time of day where, yeah, glare is just a thing. Anyways, popping into reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And we've got a bunch of different viewpoints here with this camera system. I mean, you can see out of like every single angle with the truck. It's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, from a camera system perspective, this thing is rock solid. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, shortcut bar here on the side, and then we have the main screen, so you guys can see response time with that's great. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with that, and then you can see we got this little auxiliary screen here off to the side, and so overall, really good infotainment system. We have our second home screen button for the infotainment system, and then we've got this for our lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop start, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and then that's for the windows to roll them all down at once. And then notice more wood trim here and also to mention there's nice padding and stitching on the dash look at that fancy now we do have our dual zone climate control system down below this does have heated seats for the front in normal gm fashion you can do the whole seat or just the back trailer brake controls as well and then we got some storage here a couple of cup holders and then shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission and then here is the center console that's wireless phone charging pad there really nice material use and Double glove box, that's great, right? And then last but not least, we also do have the mirror dimmer situation. This one is equipped with a sunroof too. Controls the center for just there in the center. Sorry, can't really see, but there you go. So sorry about the glare on the window sticker, but anyways, five year, 100,000 mile on the powertrain warranty and then three or 36,000 mile on the bumper to bumper. And you guys can see with the standard equipment and then also the fuel economy rating I went over earlier. Anyways, base MSRP is $54,200. This one has the Elevation Premium Package, which is a $4,400 upgrade. Now, the biggest thing is it has the Max Trailering Package. So you can see it's $1,125, and that's not the problem. The price isn't the problem. It's just availability. It's really hard to get that package. But after all options, this one stickers for $68,015. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in this GMC Sierra with the Max trailering package. And I am so excited to review this truck because I have literally been trying to find a GM truck with this package for years. And I just, I haven't been able to because like nobody ever has them. I don't know how this store has it. <laughs> like, this is crazy. I'm, I'm sure that after I post this video, they're probably gonna get 
just completely like just a bunch of people calling in and being like, can I buy this? Because yeah, again, these are these are tough to find. But getting up and moving, that's interesting. So yeah, this definitely does drive differently compared to a regular Duramax Sierra 1500. You can you can feel there's a little bit more like initial punch compared to the regular truck. Like there's there's definitely a difference. Suspension feels the same though. It doesn't feel any softer, it doesn't feel any rougher. It's, it's the same. But yeah, you can definitely feel a difference offline. I'm gonna pop into the sport mode actually. I love how a diesel, like, okay, just think about this for a second, folks. This is a diesel truck and it has a sport mode. So we are getting up and moving again. <laughs> wow, this thing is great. Yeah, you can, you can, again, you can definitely perceive a difference with the acceleration. It just punches harder. It seems like there's just less like lag overall. That's so crazy. But yeah, I mean, seat comfort's really good too. Uh, I'm glad this doesn't have, cause I think with the, I'm, well not I think, I know with the elevation you can get like cloth seats. So I'm glad that they did the uh, upgraded interior with this cause it definitely makes this truck just feel a lot uh, better compared to the cloth seat interior. I don't have anything against cloth seats, but these ones are just better overall. So I guess we'll get into summing things up. First off, this exterior color looks so cool. Um, just having the sand exterior color, it's, it's, it's a fun color. It's seriously a fun color. Oh my gosh. This thing's like a sports car, but it's a diesel truck. Where has this been my whole life? Wow. I, I understand why everyone wants this package because even if you're not going to be towing all the time, just having that like punch that this provides just all, just all the time is so good. This is like, I love the regular Duramax, but this is so much more drivable. Like, I feel like with how this is set up, I like, I, this would be fine with me. Like I would be okay with not having, like you guys know, I've talked about how I love the 6.2 V8. I would be okay with not having a 6.2 V8 if I had this with a max trailering package. So yeah, I mean, this truck's awesome. Seriously, it's such a rare truck. I'm glad that I was able to review it. <laughs> If if you uh, if you've got the dough right now, I'd recommend hopping on this one because again these are hard these are hard to find. I mean think about this for a second. You guys know I review cars for a living, so I'm constantly like I'm looking more than you're looking, okay? And if it takes me years to find one of these, think about how long it would take you to find it. Just stick that in for a second, but. Let me know what you guys think about this package. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this GMC Sierra 1500 Elevation. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Cadillac here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for Craig. I'll see ya.